So he asked me to give uh, you all a little talk with the following title. What is nitric oxide and why does the body need it? So let's ask and answer the first question. What is nitric oxide? It's the body's most powerful endogenous vasodilator. Now let me translate that into non-medical language that you can understand. Vasodilators improve circulation to the tip of the nose, to the toe, to the heart, the kidneys, the lungs, and everywhere. So anything that can improve circulation is a vasodilator. And God gave us nitric oxide to be our body's natural vasodilator. Unfortunately, some people don't make enough of it. And they have high blood pressure and poor circulation to the kidneys or to wounds or to the tip of the nose. In 1998, three Americans won a Nobel Prize for their discovery that nitric oxide was a vasodilator. The question then becomes, why does not the body need nitric oxide? And the answer is, if you don't have enough, you need it to improve circulation. What does that mean? It means that this molecule, this, this Nobel Prize winning molecule, which is found in nitro effects, dilates arteries, veins, and these little vessels called lymphatics. This little molecule causes angiogenesis, which is the growth of new blood vessels. Any, anybody ever have a cut that led to a scar? The reason the scar developed was because the nitric oxide didn't produce enough angiogenesis or new blood vessels. It will decrease edema and swelling. So if you've got a son or a daughter that plays sports in high school or college, or middle school, and they twist an ankle or sprain a knee, you can decrease the edema and swelling which normally we'd use ice for. It increases nutritional flow to cells, which means you get more of sunrise to the parts of the body that need it. That's why these two molecules or these two compounds that you have available to you work synergistically. This is a system. If somebody has an infection, you can get the antibiotic more easily to the site of the infection and kill the uh, bacteria or virus. And importantly, it restores nitric oxide, blood flow to nerves, nerves which may be responsible for pain. In fact, Rita just told us a few moments ago that it took her about three weeks to get over her painful condition. Maybe if she had used nitro effects in addition to Sunrise, she would have accomplished this in a week and a half. The important thing about medicine today is that diabetic patients have less nitric oxide than normal folks. So if you know anyone in your, in your uh, systems that have diabetes, every one of those people have less nitric oxide than normal. For three reasons. One, they produce less than you and I do. Two, they can't release the little bits that they do produce from their cells as easily. And three, the higher their blood glucose, their hyperglycemia, Blood, high blood glucose actually destroys nitric oxide. So do diabetic patients have a lot of circulatory problems? Bad hearts, bad eyes, bad kidneys, getting wounds on their feet that lead to amputations? Are all of these due to circulatory problems related to a lack of nitric oxide? So let me, let me sort of mini summarize. Better circulation is critical to helping patients with diabetes or other problems in several ways. If you can increase blood flow to nerves, you can decrease pain. If you can increase blood flow to nerves and muscles, you can restore sens somebody's sensation. And if they can feel their feet and their legs, they might fall less. And if you can improve circulation to wounds, you can heal them faster. And here is some research. Remember Mike talked yesterday about the word more, that this next year for you all was more? Well, here's more. Direct research published in the medical literature shows that diabetes patients have an increased risk of falls. Diabetes patients have less nitric oxide. They have, don't have good sensation. They tend not to know where their feet are in space, and they trip over the curb. That's why you see all these little elderly men and women walking. 
That's a disease called neuropathy due to poor circulation, which is due to lack of nitric oxide. You will walk on water for many folks when you leave here and work through the next year. So there's research showing that falls can be decreased. But if you have nitric oxide to improve circulation, and I said you could heal wounds, what kind of wounds are you talking about, Dr. Burke? Diabetic ulcers, pressure ulcers, venous stasis ulcers, arterial ulcers. I have seen situations in which gangrene, thought to be irreversible and necessitating an amputation, can be reversed, preventing that amputation. Now, who says nitric oxide may be important in wound healing? Again, research more, just as Mike said yesterday. Nitric oxide regulates wound healing. I want you to look at the, title, the date of this paper. This medical paper from surgeons was published in 1996, but there was no way at that time to give patients, your friends, your loved ones, a source of nitric oxide that could improve wound healing. Research, more. More research. Nitric oxide improves blood flow to the fingers of people with a disease called Raynaud's disease. It's when your fingers get so cold, they eventually, the tissues die and you might have to amputate. Nitric oxide improves that circulation and reverses that Raynaud's disease. More research. Remember we talked about Rita and her pain a few moments ago. This paper from 1991 shows that the way morphine, which you all know is a very powerful narcotic and pain suppressant, the way morphine works, the last part of this title of this paper is via an increase in nitric oxide release. You have available to you in nitro effects material which will raise nitric oxide and give you the, essentially the same kind of pain relief without the addiction or accommodation or other problems with a heavy narcotic. What can you do with your friends and family? <laughs> Keep seeing two minutes remaining. And I've got two minutes and I'll stay on time. Many of you who watch television, you'll see commercials where a young man is sitting on a computer and his mom is over his shoulder and he's saying, Mom, you know that pain you have in your legs, that's really bad. You may have peripheral artery disease. You should go get some compound from a pharmacy. If one restores nitric oxide to the body in a patient who has peripheral artery disease and something called intermittent claudication, which is nothing more than saying when you walk, your legs hurt, you can restore nitric oxide and will improve the symptoms without having to go take Plavix or other compounds. And you know what drugs do to our society in America. Side effects are serious. When was this paper published? 1998, the same year the Nobel Prize came out. Other research on wounds. This was published by a plastic surgeon who showed that if somebody has a burn or needs a skin flap, a skin graft, you can improve the success of restoring that tissue and that skin graft will take better in the presence of nitric oxide. Two more. Nitric oxide improves the rate in which bones knit back together, improves fracture healing. Nitric oxide improves tendon healing. Look at these papers, the year 2000, the second one, the year 1997. You are sitting on a gold mine with a material, a product, that can be sold to people to improve their lives in so many different ways. There's a lot of responsive conditions. I'll have Greg Petralia, if he, uh, if he accedes to this, uh, to give you this, but there's many kinds of uh, conditions that respond to an increase in nitric oxide. Better yet said, an increase in circulation. These are some of the things that happen. You reduce pain and restore sensation. You improve gait and balance. You help with wound healing, fracture and tendon healing, plastic surgery. But think of all the problems that people run into with workman's compensation and not being able to get back to work. Pain, sore backs. You may be able to help in remarkable ways that you probably haven't even thought of yet. 
There's a lot more information available in a book and on a website, the book written by Dr. Qtab, who's going to speak next. He's the head of your medical uh, and science board. And you can find that information at this website. And let me read you what Dr. Qtab says. What is nitric oxide? The molecule of life. Nitric oxide, a tiny molecule made up of one part nitrogen, one part oxygen, tells every cell in your body when and how to operate normally. Without it, your body cannot function. Use it, sell it, believe in it, the science is there. Thank you very much.